uh, after high school, I decided to go to college uh, in New York University and to specialize in filmmaking. So for four years, I sat in the dark and watched movies. And uh, my last year, I wrote a film that became a, a big movie in Hollywood with big Hollywood stars at the time. And then I moved from New York to Hollywood. I sold another three movies. And uh, I was working my way up the ladder of American success. I would go to the health club and work out with Arnold Schwarzenegger. I had a beautiful apartment near the beach. I had the dream life, but uh, I felt inside that something was missing. I felt empty inside. And then one day, a friend of mine, Daniel Diane, who's in the movie that we did now, uh, he was being in a, trying to be an actor in Hollywood at the time. He asked me, why didn't I know anything about Judaism? And his question hit me on the head like a hammer because I had learned everything about philosophy and different cultures and different religions, but nothing about what was closest to me. So that set me off on my journey, which led to Eretz Israel, brought me back to Israel, to Jerusalem, and to Torah. And uh, I learned Torah many years, and I wrote many books on the Torah. And then recently I decided, if not now, when? Now it's time to go back and use the skills that I learned in Hollywood to disseminate some of the Torah ideas that I learned. And that's why we decided to do this movie. And Daniel uh, was very glad to be in the movie, even though he's a uh, big Torah scholar himself. He learns in the uh, Tzvat, in the Kolel of uh, Rabbi Shimon Bar Yochai. He goes to Uman a couple times a year. And uh, he was happy to join up again, a reunion after 30 years. And we made the Seret. And thank God that'll be the delet, the door to more movies in the future. I understand uh, from the movie that you're very connected to Rabbi Nachman from Breslev. Uh, when I started to become a Baal Tshuva, I was in a bookstore, a Jewish bookstore, saw a book that was called Advice. And since I was looking for advice, I bought the book. It's a book uh, written by Rabbi Nachman, uh, his teachings, and it was a very important uh, guide for me as I returned to Judaism. When I got to Israel, uh, Kodesh Baruch Hu, God led me to uh, the teachings of Rabbi Cook, and uh, I learned many years in the Beit Midrash of Rav Cook, and uh, I believe that it's important to have a, uh, a mixture of all the great uh, Jewish ideas from all the great Torah thinkers of our times, whether it's Chabad or Breslev or Rav Kook, uh, that's how we can get to the Shivim Panim, the 70 faces of Torah. I'm not a, a, a Breslev Hasid myself. I've never been to Uman. It drives my friend Daniel crazy. He's been there like, a hundred times in the last couple of years. Uh, but for me, it's very difficult to leave Eretz Yisrael. Now that I've gotten here, I just can't see leaving it uh, to, to go someplace else. Obviously that you're trying to send a message to the movie. What is that? Well, I think first of all that uh, Judaism and being religious can be fun. And also, I think that uh, many of us feel that something is missing in our lives. Like the king in one of the stories, he says, I'm rich, I'm famous, I have everything. Can anybody be more happy than me? But then when the camera moves close to his face, we see that he's depressed. He's not happy at all. Because the material things in life don't give his soul any nourishment. And he goes out to search what's missing from his life, and he meets a peasant Jew who's happy all the time. And he tries to take away the man's livelihood, but he doesn't succeed in crushing his spirit. The man stays happy all of the time, and through that the king learns that the secret to happiness is trust in God, is faith in God. And when he comes to that, then he becomes a happy man too. I saw the movie and I was uh, surprised. Why is that in English? Uh, that's an excellent question. We debated that here in Israel. Obviously, the, the public in Israel is more used to uh, Hebrew. But I felt because there's so many Jews still in America who need to hear the message of these stories, who need to feel a closer connection to God, that it was important that we make the movie in English. Uh, usually American Jews 
uh, if they hear Hebrew in a movie, because they don't understand it, it becomes a barrier. It gets between them and the movie. Uh, they're a little bit spoiled. They like everything to be in English. And so uh, we decided to do the movie in English with the uh, thought that uh, people in Israel are used to going to the movies and seeing uh, movies that come from America with Hebrew subtitles. So for them, it will be easier to deal with the translation into Hebrew than the uh, English-speaking Jews who need a little help uh, and need also to learn Hebrew. Producer Tzvi Fishman, uh, it was a pleasure to interview with you. Thank you very much, and I hope through the, uh, what you're doing on Arush Seva, a lot of people will uh, learn about the movie and will see the movie and will benefit from the messages that there are within.